the top 10 places and things you should know before visiting Ocean Beach in San Diego. Today, we'll start at the heart of Ocean Beach, then we'll visit popular destinations like the Ocean Beach Pier, Newport Avenue. We'll explore the history of Obi's forgotten amusement park, Wonderland, and visit a few of the local favorite beaches and parks, restaurants and shops. Then we'll head to nearby areas to see places that many tourists miss. Along the way, we'll share our top tips. Ocean Beach is a relaxed beach community in San Diego that occupies just over one mile of coastline between Mission Beach and Point Loma. It's a 12 minute drive north of downtown San Diego and it's known for its laid back atmosphere, beautiful beaches, eclectic shops and restaurants. OB has a rich history. Prior to European contact, the Kumeyaay people had a fishing encampment here called Hapai. In 1909, the Point Loma Railroad connected OB to downtown San Diego and from then on the town grew quickly as a tourist attraction and community. Today it's known for its laid back beach lifestyle, surfing, culture and food. Ocean Beach has become a favorite spot for both tourists and locals alike. Here are the top 10 must see attractions for your next visit. Constructed in 1966, the Ocean Beach Pier attracts about a half a million visitors per year. At 1,971 feet long, it's the longest concrete pier on the west coast and the second longest ocean pier in California. The pier's construction was unique as it was built from the shore outward due to the rough surf here at Ocean Beach. Over the years, the pier has faced challenges including damages from winter storms and several closures for safety purposes. A recent report raised concerns about the pier's structural integrity and the city has formed a task force working with the public to find if they should fix the pier, remove it altogether, or build an entirely new structure. Although the future of the pier has not been decided, the community is working together to make sure whatever comes next preserves the traditions of the original Ocean Beach Fishing Pier. The main street here is called Newport Avenue. In the 60s and 70s, the relative isolation of Ocean Beach attracted a vibrant hippie culture. Today, there's a thriving new age atmosphere and beach community. The avenue's mom and pop shops define the town's sense of community with antique stores and specialty shops like The Black and local favorite restaurants like Mike's Taco Club and Hodad's. Over the years, new traditions have formed like the street fair and chili cook-off, the 4th of July fireworks, and the holiday parade. Many residents resist change with protests against the opening of Bank of America, Starbucks, and Target. Increasing housing prices and gentrification challenge the local culture. In my experience, this is one of the most close-knit communities in San Diego. Although change is inevitable, the town's dedication to preserving its past will ensure the spirit of Ocean Beach will continue to thrive. The Ocean Beach Farmer's Market is held every Wednesday from 4 to 8 p.m. on the 4900 block of Newport Avenue between Cable and Bacon Street. It's a lively event showcasing fresh produce, handmade crafts, and live music. The market has a fresh air grocery store format focusing on fresh fruits, vegetables, spreads, baked goods, honey, kombucha, and flowers. A select group of food vendors also have to-go food for visitors to take home. The lively weekly market is an excellent opportunity to experience Ocean Beach's vibrant community, spirit, and culture. Attendees can enjoy a wide variety of offerings while supporting local farmers and artisans. If you liked the video so far, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps the channel. Also, let us know some of your favorite places to visit in San Diego in the comments below, and maybe we can make a video about it soon. Thanks, and now back to the video. Many people might not know that at the corner of Abbott and Voltaire once stood an amusement park that has been lost to history. Wonderland, a beachfront amusement park opened on July 4th in 1913 and for about three years transformed the shores of Ocean Beach into a hub of entertainment and excitement. Wonderland was spread across eight acres at the intersection of Voltaire and Abbott Street. The park had a variety of attractions including the Blue Streak Racer, the largest roller coaster on the west coast, a carousel, water slide, carnival games, and even a small zoo that had lions, bears, leopards, wolves, a hyena, and a variety of monkeys. Despite the initial success, the park's fortune took a downturn with the opening of the Panama California Exposition in Balboa Park in 1915. Attendance plummeted, the park fell into foreclosure, and was sold at auction. In January 1916, the storm surge severely damaged the roller coaster, forcing its closure. Eventually, it was dismantled and shipped to Santa Monica's Pleasure Pier, where it remained until 1924. The rest of Wonderland was destroyed by the winter storms and high tides, and eventually, the park was demolished. 
The legacy of Wonderland did not fade entirely. Its small zoo was rented to the Panama, California Exposition and then later sold to the city and went on to form the basis of the San Diego Zoo. In 2013, to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Wonderland's opening, the Ocean Beach Street Fair adopted a Wonderland theme. The story of Wonderland serves as a fascinating glimpse into a lost era, a time when Ocean Beach's shores were home to a world of entertainment and adventure. Just to the south of Ocean Beach, Sunset Cliffs is known for its coastal views and trails. The cliffs are a popular spot to watch the sunset and a favorite among photographers, bird, and whale watchers. For countless millennia, Native American Kumeyaay people visited Sunset Cliffs to harvest food, catching fish using yucca fiber nets, harpoons, and fish hooks. In the early 20th century, the cliffs were developed to coincide with the 1915 Panama, California Exposition. Picturesque bridges, cobblestone stairways, thatched shelters, and a saltwater swimming pool were added. Deteriorating over time, they were eventually removed due to safety concerns. In 1973, the city of San Diego purchased the hillside section, designating it as a multiple habitat preservation area. Today, the cliffside trails remain popular despite being undeveloped and unstable cliffs posing a risk to hikers. There are frequent lifeguard rescues here and cliff diving is prohibited. Visitors are urged to stay away from the dangerous cliff edges as they enjoy the scenery. Dog Beach is a renowned landmark and one of the first official leash-free beaches in the U.S. It's in the same place where the Wonderland Amusement Park once existed. Located in Ocean Beach at the end of West Point Loma Boulevard near the mouth of the San Diego River, it was established by the Ocean Beach Town Council in 1972. The beach is a protected gathering place for people and dogs, and on any given day, dogs play by the ocean while surfers ride the Dog Beach Break. Dog Beach is a unique spot where pets, surfers, and visitors share a space and enjoy the beach all together. Ocean Beach has many annual events suitable for people of all ages. The Ocean Beach Street Fair and Chili Cook-Off happens every year in June, and the free event attracts more than 70,000 visitors. The Chili Cook-Off features amateur and professional competitions, and visitors can try samples from the contestants. There are also art exhibitions, beachfront entertainment, shopping, and more. The Ocean Beach Oktoberfest is called the wildest Oktoberfest in San Diego. There are vendors and family-friendly activities, a beer garden with live music, and giveaways. Here are some of the local favorite attractions. Ocean Beach is known for the beautiful coastline. Naturally, fishing and surfing are popular here. By the pier are tide pools, and at low tide you can explore the pools and discover fascinating marine life, including sea stars, anemones, crabs, and more. On land, there are bike rentals, and the sandy coast is a perfect place to walk along the beach. Music and art are an important part of the culture. There are often drum circles and fire dancing by the beach. Rob Field on the north end of the community offers sports fields, a skate park, and playground. The large grassy areas make it an ideal spot for families and sports enthusiasts. On Newport Avenue is the Playhouse and Art Center. This intimate theater hosts a variety of live performances including plays, musicals, and comedy shows. And there's yoga on the beach where every Saturday and Sunday at 10.30 a.m. there's a donation-based yoga class by Tower 5 on Ocean Beach. Ocean Beach is home to a variety of shops, boutiques, and restaurants. Along Newport Avenue, you'll find vintage stores, surf shops, antique and specialty stores. The area around Voltaire Street is home to many eco-friendly businesses and organizations, including the People's Organic Food Market, a community-owned grocery store established in 1972. Here are a few of the top-rated stores in the neighborhood. The Black is a popular local smoke shop with beach gear, books, and gifts. The Ocean Beach Antique Mall has antiques, costumes, jewelry, art, and sports memorabilia. Verver Shop and Design sells merchandise from local artists and merchants. The Cow Record Store has new and used vinyl, plus CDs and DVD selections. The Philosopher's Stone Crystal Shop has a diverse collection of stones and crystals. The Olive Tree Market offers local produce, specialty foods and beer, plus a deli. Tap Shack Kombucha has organic teas and kombuchas. Ocean Beach has some of the most restaurants I've seen with ratings over 4.5 stars, and here are a few of the highest rated spots. Ragland Public House is a large modern pub with a New Zealand themed menu with organic burgers and cocktails. Pizza Port serves pizza and craft brews. The OB Noodle House specializes in pho, beer on tap and a wide variety of sake drinks. Third Corner Wine Shop and Bistro has regional small plates and a weekend brunch. Mike's Taco Club is known for their front patio seating, beer, and a menu of Mexican food and fish tacos. 
Plant Power Fast Food offers plant-based vegetarian and vegan fast food. The Holding Company has an Asian-inspired cuisine with live bands and a rooftop bar with ocean views. Blue Water Seafood Ocean Beach is an informal place with seafood plates, sandwiches, tacos, and salads. There's Lighthouse Ice Cream, which is a popular ice cream stand offering a huge variety of malts, cones, sundaes, and yogurts. And Ho Dad's, which is a local favorite, known for their giant burgers with a variety of toppings, plus shakes, onion rings, and more. Liberty Station is just outside of Ocean Beach in the neighboring community of Point Loma. One of the neighborhood's greatest attractions is Liberty Station, a mixed-use development that was once a naval training center. Today, it's home to a variety of restaurants, shops, art studios, movie theaters, grocery stores, and more. The Liberty Public Market has a wide array of local foods and products that are unique to San Diego. From the picturesque Ocean Beach Pier to the lively Newport Avenue and beyond, there's something for everyone here in Ocean Beach. Whether you're a beach lover, foodie, or just looking for a laid back getaway, this neighborhood's eclectic style has something for everyone. If you're planning a trip to San Diego, consider visiting this vibrant and unique community. Now click here to see more of the best places to visit in San Diego. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more travel and adventure content.